talking here with uh, Leonard Skinner, and Leonard, the first thing I need to ask you is, uh, you were their high school uh, gym teacher, is that correct? That's correct. Back in those those years, this was the late 60s, uh, our high school here, the high school here, had uh, a dress code. All teachers and all coaches uh, sent students down if they violated this dress code. Well, <laughs> for, uh, lucky me, <laughs> one of the ones that I sent down was a member of this band, and it was uh, because of his hair length violating the dress code. And uh, he resented it, and uh, so uh, for that reason and the fact that they liked the sound of my name, Leonard Skinner, uh, that, that combination, they, they just proceeded to name the band after me. Leonard, uh, as far as the notoriety to yourself, is has this been a good thing for you? Would you rather it never have happened? Uh, how do you have it? Well, it's been good and bad. I, I think like anything else, uh, uh, I have not benefited from it financially, which is which is fine. I don't look to. Uh, you know, I, I can make my own living. But uh, uh, there has been some inconvenience uh, with it when the, uh, my real estate sign appeared on the album cover. Uh, this, of course, went nationwide, and I started receiving phone calls. I had my business phone rang at home, and I started receiving calls like at 4 o'clock in the morning from somebody in California where it wasn't that late, and they'd say, uh, who's speaking? And I'd say, Leonard Skinner, and they'd say, Paul.